Hi everyone, today I'm going to be talking to you about Slow German, the online podcast for German learners and what I think about it. The basic concept is that you are given a topic every week or every other week, and this wonderful woman writes an article about that topic. She then reads the article in its entirety, slowly, and in clearly spoken German. Die Sommerpause ist vorbei. Jetzt geht es endlich weiter. Danke für eure Geduld, eure Geschenke und eure Spenden. You can read along with the German text in German directly on the website, or you can download a PDF copy of the podcast. You can also download an MP3 of the podcast. These topics are usually current events or tie into things that are going on in Germany at the time. For example, at the time when I was recording this video, Oktoberfest was going on. She posted an article about München, as that is her hometown. She gave historical information and talked a little bit about the city. You'll notice that there are certain words underlined in each podcast. This would be a vocabulary word in the premium podcast, but since I'm not subscribed to the premium podcast, I can't show you what it would look like if you clicked on it. If you are an absolute beginner in the German language, there are beginner level podcasts that are in English, but give topical vocabulary lessons. This one, for example, is how you would go through a normal visit in a train station, or Bahnhof. It goes through each situation and tells you the vocabulary you will need as you go along. She says the German word several times, starting very slowly and then speeding up, so you know how it should sound. Welcome to a German train station. We're at a Bahnhof today, talking about different words you might need there. First of all, you need to check the Fahrplan. That's the schedule of the trains. Fahrplan. You can also find the podcast by topic. If you click on a topic title, you'll be taken directly to the most recent podcasts on that topic. You can then scroll through what she has posted most recently about that topic. If you want to find something on a specific topic, you can search at the top of the page. Apparently she doesn't have a podcast about Döner Kebab, which I find a crying shame, but she does have several on the topic of Berlin. When you search for a topic, it gives you a list of the most recent podcasts on that topic, or ones that use the tag related to that topic. It'd be nice if it would give you a list of article titles so that you could pick the one you really want without scrolling through a list of most recent podcasts, but this system works as well. Under the vocabulary tab, there are photos with German words explained. This is the same type of thing you can find on her Twitter account. Under Deutsche Musik, you'll find German song suggestions that she has posted. As with any German music, however, some of these videos may not be accessible in your region. Thanks, Gima. Under the FAQ, you'll find German questions and answers to the questions that she gets most often, such as, Who are you? How can I support you? And how does this work? and others. Under the premium podcast, you can find out how much it will cost you to get access to the premium content. It's only $1.99 a month or $19.99 a year. You get access not only to the vocabulary, but also the learning materials, which they give you an example of. The learning materials for the premium podcast include vocabulary and comprehension questions. If you actually purchase the premium version, she also provides answers to these questions. She also has a YouTube channel with German subtitles with the podcast on it. You can follow her on Twitter and on Facebook as well. There she posts vocabulary and, of course, her podcast links. So what do I think? This has to be one of my favorite finds in recent years. I occasionally use these podcasts in my German classes. We read the podcast in class, translate it, and then listen to the podcast. It is great for introducing vocabulary and culture in an authentic but not too difficult to follow manner. The only complaint that I have is that I noticed an editing error in the first podcast I listened to. Das kann doch gar nicht wahr sein, dass ich noch... Das kann doch gar nicht wahr sein, dass ich noch keine Episode über meine Heimatstadt München gemacht habe. But this could have happened to anybody who's editing a bunch of stuff. I'm sure if I looked hard enough, I would probably find a video on this channel that does exactly what she did. If there is, please let me know so I can fix it. Overall, this website, podcasts, and YouTube channel are fantastic. If you aren't already reading this podcast on a weekly basis, you need to be. You need to subscribe to her YouTube channel and follow her on social media and pay for the premium content. It is most definitely worth the $1.99 per month. This is an excellent way to test your comprehension. I have links in the description for all of the things mentioned in this video. So go out and check out Slow German and let me know what you think in the comments down below. Danke fürs Zuschauen. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss.